Hello folks and welcome once more to my channel where I'm going to spend pretty much the rest of December deciding Hey, you know what? Let's make a um, bunch of random D&D &D videos Now these videos are going to be based off of a art prompt of D&D &D proportions from Scarlet Moth from 2017 I couldn't find one more recent and or one that could fill out the entirety of December so here you go My problem when it comes to divine things, no one plays the cleric. I think I've grant, I think I've only ever been in a party where one person has played a cleric because it was um, way back in the day, 3.5. It was Scythe Dalton who had multi-classed um, wizard, necromancer, of course, and cleric because that's where some of the more awesome necromancy spells are. And save for a couple of one-shot clerics that were played with the guys, no one really ever plays a cleric. It's always been druid or ranger. Hell, I'd, t I'd take a favorite soul if we were still playing 3.5 D&D. And it kind of breaks my heart because clerics are interesting. They can be cool. And one of the things I love about clerics, besides their versatility and how you can play them and whatnot is that in a world where anything and everything anything and everything can happen one of the more amazing things to me is that deities actually interact with the people and if you're pious enough if you believe hard enough then one of them will talk to you and bestow upon you powers freaking yes I <laughs> That's one of the more amazing things in this world. I know that a lot of people think to themselves, Oh man, that's nothing. Miracles happen in the real world all the time. Yeah, not to the extent in D&D. &D. So, excuse me, well, that seems like the most amazing thing to me in Dungeons & Dragons. Thank you very much. <sighs> that's more of a ranty topic that I would want to script out and whatnot, but... More or less, just, I want more people to play clerics in my games, because there's a lot of roleplay perspective that you can do as well, like, man, is this cleric, is this deity even for me? Because God knows I've played like two or three of them, and one of them has had, actually two of them have had rather drastic changes in the deity that they worshipped because of situations. And, I don't know. Just, there was always something about being able to talk to a force that is far higher than yourself and knowing that that force is uh, listening and able to actually do something about it. That's, that's kind of the highest fantasy right there to me. Thank you everyone so very much for watching and listening to these random, seeming smaller D&D &D stories. If you guys like this series, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, I hope to be doing this throughout the entirety of December. And uh, if you are here for more D&D based stuff, I have several D&D stories videos and some opinionated videos and some Let's Plays based around Dungeons and Dragons game. Some of my more favorite ones are the Dark Alliance games and uh, check those out. And if you want to torture yourself, there's also Eye of the Beholder for Game Boy Advance. Don't know why you want to, but there's that. Thank you everyone so very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.